I met with leaders in technology companies and I asked them what are the skills you're going to be looking for in the people you're hiring so I can have them ready. By bringing parents into that conversation, understanding those motivations, you can start to unpack that. This school has been around for over 125 years. So we think a lot about how do we make sure that students get a great deal of knowledge in the areas of, of interest to them, but also understand the things that may not be as interesting to them as well. What do you think is the specific role of high school education uh, we should focus for the student? If, if it were as simple as getting really good grades, then everyone would get into the top universities. That is not the metric anymore. It we're trying to achieve those two objectives of academic excellence and highly selective college admission in a unique way. What really gets them excited? Because we know that's what the universities care about the most. I really like the way you mentioned invest in the student success. We can tailor everything that we do to bring out the best in boys and use the research that we know works for boys like using competition. We want our students to feel empowered to change the world. We are intentional about building character and having a healthy definition of masculine. The only way we're going to fix them is if we understand other cultures, develop a sense of empathy. There's a richness to the curriculum with more than 240 course offerings for only 400 students. It's remarkable. We have this saying, without honor there can be no trust, and without trust there can be no community. Creating really agile, collaborative, culturally competent learners and leaders is a real focus of our educational model. It's, it almost it forms like a synergy, right? Everybody's experience is enriched by the participation of others.